Hey guys, D-Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Hope you're all doing well. We unlocked World 2 by taking down Bowser Jr.'s fiery flotilla, his fiery quesadilla. And we're gonna jump right into the Puzzle Plank Galaxy. This has one of my favorite songs in pretty much the entire Mario universe. And if you don't like this song, well, you can get out. So we got some really tricky block pushing puzzles. Hopefully you guys can figure this out with me. Pretty darn tough. But this mission is all about being folksy, working with your wood. Definitely one of the best songs in the Mario universe. It's just so catchy. I wouldn't say I'm a bluegrass enthusiast or anything, but I do really like this song. It's pretty much impossible to not like. Oops, okay. I don't think there's anything on this side that I'm aware of. Nope. Okay. Go ahead and bonk that one all the way down. And if you wanna go ahead and make some wigglers extinct, you'll get yourself a pretty healthy amount of star bits. We've got four buttons here, which is very enticing. Probably gonna need to press all of them, I would say. And maybe grab some coins. That could be... Maybe that's a good idea. Ooh. Some very interesting music notes that... A little homage to Super Mario World. Oh, thank God. We were running low on lives, so that really bailed us out. I was starting to get kind of nervous. Okay, so fourth time's the charm. We'll go ahead and grab ourselves a launch star. Yeah, this is a very, uh, very fun, kind of whimsical, goofy, laid back mission. There's also a coin luma. So if you haven't been grabbing coins, definitely do that. Somewhere to the tune of maybe 70 coins? Let's see if I'm right. Just a little recommendation. You can do whatever you want. Play your way. Play your way. But also play my way. Or else. No, I'm just kidding. Do whatever you want. You're going to see, see right here that there is a coin loom. Let's go check them out. Have a little chat. A little chat chat. So we don't have... I also like that he says that he might transform... That's a definite lie. You're, you and your dumb cowlick are a big lie. But we might have an opportunity to grab a lot of coins right here. How about it? Grab the big coin, create little coins. That's how the world works. You might be a little nervous here seeing all of these coins piled up, thinking, how am I ever gonna grab them all? Well, do not worry. The game is pretty generous and the amount of time that you'd need. Now I hopefully we can find three additional coins. It'd be kind of a butt if they wouldn't give them to you. I don't think that they would do that, but there it is. Okay, so it's just enough. You gotta be pretty, uh, pretty vigilant here on this one. So exactly 73 coins. So we'll go ahead and do the coin luma first. And he might transform. Sounds like a bit of a scam. We don't have to feed them to him. He somehow has access to our bank account. So now we get a secondary star to do. And a new planet was born. Very maternal of Mario to create a planet. Ooh, look at this. Some cloud power up. You gotta use these to make your way across. I love kind of how floaty and how much distance you can get when you jump around. We're gonna be visited by an old friend. I don't remember this guy's name, but this was a bee suit enemy from Galaxy 1. Oop. <laughs> was not trying to give up. 
I've had enough of this level already. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and give him a good old bonkin'. Put our booty on his back. I'm sure he doesn't mind. Okay. I always want to say that they're hopping mad, but he's not... He's not jumping, he's flying. Those creepy, weird pupils. Oh, he's... He's pooping. He's pooping mad. Oops, that's the wrong button. Oh, come on. Come on, game. Help a brother out. Ooh, the sounds he makes are nasty, though. Eesh. Where'd you go? Some star bits here. Let's wait for him to bring it around town. Ooh, that was close. He almost sounds like a monkey. All right, he is pretty grumpy now. So mad that he... You pooped out candy. You ever been so mad that you pooped out candy? Oops. <laughs> oh, man. This is getting kind of dangerous here. I shouldn't have grabbed those coins. What a mistake. Where is he? All right. Oops. <laughs> okay, apparently you cannot do that. and Now I really need coins. Now you get him to stop being on his stupid side like that. Oh, he's coming in hot. All right, so we're refreshed. Unfortunately, these clouds won't last forever, so you have to kind of be there preventatively. Come here. Nope. <laughs> not my best. Uh, no. Not my best work. This is kind of a tough boss fight. Not gonna lie. NGL, as the kids say these days. Try to kill some time here. That's what we need to do. There it is. That's murder and reward. I mean, we we kind of came into his house and we're like, hey, man, hope you don't mind. But hey, that's uh, that's victory. If I ever saw it. Okay, that's one of four stars. That that's not the intended star, obviously. But I mean, what is the intended star? Oh, his name is Bugaboo. What a great name. And we're gonna find out here from Lubba some news. Opened up some new galaxies, but first, some information. We're gonna experience some changes. We're we're going through some changes, viewers. So we've acquired a male toad. His route is just that little circle of grass. He's gonna be wearing it down. Probably gonna get yelled at by the HOA. Gonna need some grass seed. So here we go. A letter from Sky Mommy herself, Princess Peach, Mario. I'm very far away right now, but I'm okay. I know you will come save me. Well. Talk about expectations. P.S. No pressure, Mario. I know you'll come save me. What if we don't want to? Save yourself. I've attached something to this letter. Hope it will be useful. Well, it certainly is incredibly useful. It's a one-up. How thoughtful. You know, we're falling behind, so it's always good. So here we go. We're going to learn something here from Lubba. So now, because we have a grand star, we can experience travel with grandeur you can go to world one or world two i don't think world three is open yet but for some reason the game wanted to tell you that way i don't know anyway this is hightail falls galaxy gonna have a little bit of a visit from an old friend who we just met a couple episodes ago or i guess three episodes ago and we've got a new pepper this episode's gonna be muy caliente, or picante, hot and spicy. And who, of all the people we know, loves to eat? Can you guess? This egg might have something to do with it. It's Yoshi, oh yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and experience the first power up of Yoshi. 
waggle our Wiimote and see if we can get some star bits along the way. I probably could have done a better job about that, but you know, it's whatever. But yes, the spicy pepper power-up for Yoshi. It's very, very cool. Oops, didn't do, <laughs> didn't do a very good job of that. Now we could jump in there, but first, it appears there might be something at the... Okay. <laughs> well, when done correctly... Oh, oh my. Okay, okay. Everything is a mess right now. Ah, oh, this is really tricky. Sound the alarm. We're playing really poorly. Who would have guessed? Okay, so we'll try this again. Yeah, I don't know. There's... Okay. Let's try... Let's try a different way. Because clearly doing it that way twice didn't work. And doing different things and expecting the same result is the definition of chaos. I don't know if we can get up there. No. I might just do the intended route for, for time. Yeah, it really doesn't want you to go that way. Okay. So we'll come back and we'll do that, that way a different, a different time. We'll just do the OG route for now. But there is something at the very top of that tower. That's a lot of star bits. Hopefully we got a good amount of those. It looks to be. All right. And I do think that these platforms will collapse. So we got to get a move on. I probably could have used Yoshi's gross tongue to grab the pepper from afar. I didn't think of it. Ooh, but there's a bonus over here. Oops. Almost fell. All right. We definitely need to do these. Oops. <laughs> these are always kind of tough for me to do. I always mess them up. It's not really a good way to do... Oh, my gosh. I hate Goombas so much. Get away from me. Come back, Yoshi. No. Okay, that's the most important part. Oh, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to grab those lives. Ugh. Oh, that's going to be a bit of a problem. I don't know what we're going to do here. But yes, more spicy pepper power-up. Say that ten times fast. Obstacles here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The flutter jump is definitely going to be your saving grace. Oh, there's a coin luma, too. Okay. How many do you want? We're definitely not going to have enough, but... Oh, I almost have enough. Wait a second. Is there one in here? <gasps> there is. Guys, we've done it. You know what? Let's just do two coin lumas in the same episode. Wow. We really are going off the beat off path. We're blazing our own trails here, guys. We'll do whatever we want to do. We'll do the stars in whatever order we want. And once again... Mario, the mother, birthing planets. I really enjoy that, like I would be doing if I was on a roller coaster, I'd be putting my hands up. I'm gonna put my hands up, they're playing my song. Okay, so I think if we eat these guys, it makes it easier to grab the, what are they? To grab the silver stars? I can't really, I, I, I can't really like, figure out what they are exactly, like what type of creature they are. Well, like little frogs maybe? Oops. You're making me waste my money. What a waste of money. Alright, where's the final one? There he is. Got him. That's five silver stars. It's nice to be able to do these quicker stars. It helps me to fall in line with my recording limits that I'd like to abide by. And that's two stars. Two coin luma stars. Not so bad. About halfway through the episode. Two stars. This might be a quick one if things go our way. A nice quickie. Oh, man. Yeah, we're definitely going to be doing some atypical stars in this episode. Not the original ones that it intends for you to do. We're doing things our own way. Grab some more star bits, and we'll, ooh. Man, we're just getting hit over the head with power-ups in this episode. 
One for Yoshi, one for Mario. This is the Rock and Roller Dio. They definitely seem to be like pretty fond of uh, of like naming levels with kind of like a Spanish flair to them. I'm all about it. Spanish culture, Hispanic culture, fine by me. It's where some of the best cuisine, dancing, music, all of the above. It's where it's all coming from. And if you haven't tried it, get out there and explore. You owe it to yourself. Okay. So I think we have to kill all of these Octumbas. I don't know if that's what their names are. But they kind of remind me of Octorox. That's why I'm calling them that. And here is... Rock Mario. This is our second new power-up for Mario. And uh, this will... This, this power-up is kind of contentious. It, it definitely has... It has a reputation with being a little bit of a turd. So, you'll see what I mean later. Not in the present state, but there are some levels later on in the game that are a little finicky. The, uh... The controls for Rock Mario are great. So, I'll just go ahead and put that out there. They're not bad, but... They do leave a little bit to be desired. Something that is desired, though, is a little game I like to call Galactic Bowling. Oops, that's not a strike. That was close, though. Here at D-Mike Industries, we like to think of ourselves as a quality 9 out of 10. You know, we don't want to say 10 out of 10. That's like, that's a little bit too cocky and like, it seems that hubris can get people into trouble sometimes, and we don't want to be that type of guy. Oops. I don't really want to break down the barriers either. There's a ton of uh, star bits if I could spin around. If I could rock and roll around. <laughs> Oops. Oh, we took my power up. We're I need another one. Oh, this is getting... This is turning into absolute chaos. Okay, there we go. There is a... Star bits. Luma coming up. And we want to have as many star bits as we can. So definitely nab them. This is a good opportunity to do it. We can knock all these guys out. Knock them off their rocker. If I could aim, that'd be good, right? Got him? Okay. And yeah, the little wood barriers will slowly be blasted apart when you run into them. So just be mindful of that. Oh boy. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's too bad. That's exactly what I didn't want to do. Okay, anyway. And we could spend more time doing that, but I'm not going to do that. I will go back and get the... Uh... I don't know if I have to kill all of them. That'd be kind of a bit of a butt. Hopefully that's not the case. It's just a little tough, because like... The arc in which the in which these bad boys, or which Mario is a bad boy, in which it spins is kind of it, kind of um, it's a little little erratic. It's kind of like widens out as you go. Oh man! Once again, that's too bad. This is what we get for doing two stars too fast. The game's like, hey, how about a real challenge? Got a rocky road ahead of you. I don't personally care for these guys. Oops. We bonked our noggin. You gotta kind of just, uh, I don't know if there's a way. Okay, so you can, if you hit the, the Z button on the Wiimote, you can, you can pull out. And sometimes the best, oops, the best answer is just to pull out. Okay, so... You're gonna birth a whole lot of problems if you don't, okay. Ooh, that was weird. I think you have to be, like, in mid-roll and, like, jump first. But yeah, I mean, there's a uh, metric ton of these star bits. I don't know if it's letting me keep them in between runs. Oh, boy. I need to have a little bit more self-preservation here. Yeah, we're pretty close to wiping them all out. Is it just the pink ones? I don't know. 
does not appear to be. Maybe it's one of the rocks that's hiding a key or something? We have not destroyed everything in our path yet. Nope. Alright, so let's see what's left. It'd be really bad if it was just this. This Octumba. Oof, excuse you. Okay. The one survivor. That's that's what it was. Please, no! <laughs> uh, so it's a green one at least. Wow. What a kick in the stones. Okay. Well, we're back. Oop. <laughs> Gotta get our head screwed on tight. Okay. So, I... I don't know if it's killing all of them, or if it's just killing the green ones. Oh boy, this is not meant to be. Okay, so I, well, it looks like it is killing all of them, unfortunately. That's a bit annoying. But it does appear that it lets us keep all of our, uh, all of our star bits. I guess the ones that are near the edges, it's probably safer just to bonk them. You run the risk of... Oops. Oh my gosh. You run the risk of... Falling off the edge. Which, you know, I'm just trying to show you like what, what's the best practices on not to do. It's more of a service than anything. Okay. So, where's the final one? Oh, he's way over there. Go ahead and roll over to him. Okay, so it was a it was a kill room kill everybody. We'll roll into the star for good measure. More star bits. Yeah, we got 170 star bits in one uh in one level is pretty good. Okay, so it's already telling you about something you should have figured out by now. Oops. <laughs> oh man. I mean it wasn't wrong. It's like a little bit of a premonition. Hey, if you're stupid and you uh Wind up hurting yourself, you might need coins. Well, as a matter of fact, I do. Okay, so we can't roll into Bow Wows. Lesson learned, maybe we can roll into the, the weird pimple meatballs. I'm assuming we can crush those. We were able to do it before. Ooh. There's a toad hanging out back here. What's he doing? He's just minding his own business, right? No way. What's in here? A bonus of sorts? Don't mind if I do. Ooh. Looks like a uh, gamble cube. What do we get? Oh, great. A bunch of crap that I don't care about. Bye. Okay, so there's a giant crystal. We have to make sure we make sure our aura and our crystals are aligned. Check our uh Check our astrological sign, make sure that we're not in retrograde. I do believe this is a boss fight. It appears to be. Ooh, this looks fun. Armored Armadillo? Maybe Max? Okay. So we need the rock power up. As you can see, he's pretty well armored up. But he also has a big fluffy bottom. What do I run into? The one thing that makes this fight really tough is that. Um, my sense of direction is really bad, and the controls on this one aren't great. Ooh, we made him mad. One of the best things about fighting bosses in this game is... <laughs> doing poorly, no. Is, uh, you get lots of star bits, so... Oh, get out of here! He's, like, landing on me! What am I supposed to do? Ooh, now that was close. Actually, Will... Ooh. We'll shoot a star bit at the ground. Ooh, here's, a, here's our chance. Oh, I just missed. Would really love to have this coin. Excuse me. Ooh. I would like that. I like the sound he makes. We'll bonk him from the side. You basically just gotta get out of the way. Wait till he tires himself out. Seems like long jumping is a good way. And then he gets he gets dizzy, and then you can. Make him hit rock bottom. Okay, so rule of thirds is not correct in this one. He's gonna do two little quick laps. I think maybe a third one and 
this phase, yeah. Okay. And then we can take him from behind. Oh, is he wearing a little vest? Oh, that's cute. We just murdered an armadillo. Would have been nice if I wouldn't have <laughs> messed up that early part. But that's okay. We're still doing amazing, as per usual. Oop, missed the star. Missed the star again. Missed the star. <laughs> Not my sharpest moment. Didn't feel like much of a rock star. But we'll be brought back inside our skull. Our skull. 15 stars all to our own. Lots of star bits. And we have once again stolen a power up. And Mail Toad wants to give us another letter. Here we go. Hey, remember me? I got a new game over in Fluffy Bluff. Come by and we'll do the whole introductions thing. I'm gonna see what kind of game skills you got. The Chimp. I don't think we'll do that in today's episode. That one requires a little bit of dexterity that I probably don't have in the current state. But we do have a Hungry Luma. So we'll call him to the, to the face ship. Looks like we'll have to withdraw a little bit of finances. Okay, so he needs 700 and we got, what was that say, 500 from that level alone? It's kind of ridiculous. Oh wow, eight star bits, okay. So we will withdraw until we have 700-ish. Great. A little more for good measure. Okay, here we go. Make sure you got the reticle on him. Fill up his fat belly. So he's ready to explode. Bada boom, bada bing. And we'll go right in the middle. Flanked on either side by other stars. What is this one? I don't know if that's one I want to do yet. What is this star? Honey Bloom Galaxy? Yeah, we'll do it real quick. Hopefully it's not too tough. Maybe this is gonna be the return of B Mario. It would be amazing. Bumble Beginnings, here we go. Tender, Hinge, whatever you're into. This doesn't look too bad. I think we can fly through this one. Let's go ahead and touch it. I can hear the star already. Go ahead and get ourselves some star bits. Didn't collect any of those. Doing great. I do know that this galaxy in particular has a pretty fun gimmick to it. Eventually, and like trying to find where stuff. Oops. Okay. I died. That looked like danger. We're gonna try to finish this episode on a high note. It's gonna sting if we don't. So we're just going to try to get ourselves going here. The return of B-Mario. We're just going to be buzzing around, if you don't mind. There's definitely more to this level than... Uh... Thank you. So in case you didn't remember from the first Mario game, you can't touch water in the same way that Cloud Mario doesn't want you touching water. This game's kind of finicky. Alright, so we got enemies abound. We can land on flowers, though, don't forget. We can also create random cloud textures that weren't there. Here's the Comet Metal, we'll grab that real quick. Got it. Okay, let's replenish our fly meter. I don't know if it has a specific name or not, but that's okay. We'll come over here, the, thankfully the game will shift the perspective, so. We're getting pretty close to the star. I'm doing a really awesome job of grabbing all the star bits. We got some little bouncy, I'm not entirely sure what these are, bouncy balls. When landing on them appears to sort of, oops. <laughs> oh geez, the game just kind of spits you back. It's like, try again. Oh, it just wants you to go back that way, I gotcha. Yeah, these are uh, kind of uh, tricky to 
maneuver around? Jeez. Can you just take it easy, game? There we go. So use... Use your balls to bounce all around. You gotta land right on your balls for great success. It's a very rare circumstance you would ever say that. And we've got these guys, I forget what they're called, but I do know that they're very annoying and I hate them with every fiber of my being. And they're pretty quick too, so you gotta get a move on. Okay, so here we go. Gonna be swinging along. And we'll do a more thorough return. Oh boy, I'm just missing every star bit on Earth. <laughs> as much as I said the value of star bits, we just blew through a bunch of them and I'm not getting any of them. I like to blame my, uh, my Wiimote. I'm even using a Wii Motion Plus one and it's just not doing it for me. All right, so I want you to not be disgusting and weird. entirely sure where it wants me to go here, but onward and upward, am I right? Okay, there we go. I'm not really a big fan of these, like, spiky ball things. They're kind of gross, and I hate them. I can hear the star, though. It's, uh, here, jingle jangling. It must be nearby. Let's land really quick. Gather our composure. You can definitely hear it. There it is. Let's grab that and be on our way. Well done, everybody. That's a successful episode, I would say. Four kind of off-the-cuff stars. We'll put those in our pocket and move on with our bad selves. Excellent. 16 stars, another Comet Medal. Feeling pretty, pretty good. Thank you, game. Thank you, Lubba. And we've got a star board now, so you can keep track. Basically just a, you know, boiled down version of everything from the first Mario Galaxy. So that's been all the episode for today. I've been D-Mike, this has been Super Mario Galaxy 2. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye.